It's a little bit. I got it. I don't know how to get that imprint off of there. We're going to be doing the oil change on this bike next. Okay. Everything works. What we're going to do is just double check. And then for some reason, I couldn't push these plugs in. They're supposed to be plug and play, but you can see I can't push it in far enough to where the clasp gets it. And dude, I pushed on it very hard and I don't want to fuck with it anymore, so we'll just leave it there. You can see that the uh, shrink tubing covers the metal conductive part completely, so we will shrink that side here right shortly. And let's see here on this side, it's the same way. So we're looking good. So we're just going to start with this side over here. The shrink tubing is very custom made for this shit. Let it cool off for a little bit. You don't want to melt the wire, you know, the uh, plastic coating on the wire either. So that's pretty good. When you can see the rails on the connectors, that means that that sh shrink tubing shrunk all the way around it. This side, I, l I like it, but we'll hit it one more time. I should do it. One more check on this one. Make sure that the shrink tubing is all across the wires. It is. Let's check one more time. We don't want to have any metal. Looks good. I was going to go get a heat gun, but like I said, man, I wouldn't keep it because it does are something that you don't use very often. I might use one of those once a year, if that. Yeah, you can see the shrink tube. You can see the rails on the connector pins. That means it's sucked right up against it. I can live. I can live with that. Now it's just a question of tightening everything up. The plate is loose. I, you loosen up your, your foot pegs completely. I'm gonna tighten these back up completely. Looking good, looking good. And then uh, we're gonna put everything back together and we'll show you one more view of everything back together, but man, I'm loving this. This has turned out to be very good. When you drill this hole right here, there are wires that are running here. You have to spread them out, make sure that they're not in the center of this. And then your battery is right here. It's about an inch and a half. So when, when you're drilling, do it very slow and set a depth gauge on it. Use your finger, you know what I'm saying? So it only goes in about a quarter of an inch, boom, pull it out. But anyways, it's very nice to get this done, guys. This is so sweet. And now we do the oil from here, so. Um, okay, that's it for this video. Just wanted to show you the install on this uh, TST Industries. And I did mess up. I thought I had that plate included you know they nickel and dime you they piece it out one piece your this is 20 bucks these are 129 dollars uh uh what the fuck else oh the bracket is 35 dollars and this is probably another 35 dollars so they, they tend to piece things out try to nickel and dime you right down to the end you know what i'm saying but either way it's it looks good it's bright it's very clean aesthetically clean it is the bomb. That's it for this video. TST Industries wins hands down over new rage cycles.